Hey folks, I'm here with you in the kitchen today to talk to you about rendering your own animal fats. So today we're specifically going to look at how to render tallow, which is cow fat, and lard, which is pig fat. So how is this gonna work? Well, we're gonna cut our fat up into small pieces, and then I've got this giant turkey roaster, and we're gonna throw the pieces into it, and we're going to slowly bake it in the oven. Now, one of the keys with making your own either tallow or lard is that you do wanna keep your temperatures pretty low. You just wanna very slowly melt down the fats. We are going to chop all this up. If you have a meat grinder, send your fat through it. That breaks it up so fast and it breaks down and melts super fast in the oven or if you're doing it at a crock pot. Um, but I don't have one here right now. So we are going to slice this all up by hand into cubes and strips. And I will show you the melting process in the oven after we've done our work of chopping things up. so that it will melt faster. We actually are just gonna shove it in the oven, heated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're just going to let things very slowly melt down. It's important that you don't burn your fat, okay? Keep your temperatures low. Here's the thing. Your fat has little bits of meat connected to it. And the longer those bits of meat simmer in your fat, the stronger flavor you're going to have in your finished lard or tallow. So the first pour off is always the most mild flavored. So a lot of people, especially when they're working with lard, now not so much with tallow because you're not gonna be using it in sweet dishes anyway, but for lard, that first pour off, you want to set that aside, label it as number one, the best. That is the best one for you to use in sweet things. So your pies, if you're making cakes, um, whatever it is you're making, that first pour off is going to have the most mild flavor. And so you want to make sure you take note of that. another hour and we'll come back and check it. All right, it's been two hours since we put this fat in the oven. Let's give it another stir. We stirred it about an hour ago, but let's look at what we've got. We've got to stir it and we'll see if we're ready to start draining any of the liquid fats off. We've got a lot of melted fat in here. Few pieces still have a fresh, fresh fat look, but a lot of them are dark and almost crispy looking. So this pan is definitely ready to have some of the fats poured off. So I'm gonna show you how you do that without burning yourself. You must remember that it is hot. Do not pour it directly into glass canning jars or anything like that. You need something that can handle the heat. I still usually always put a baking dish underneath of it just in case anything were to happen. The other thing you're gonna want for this process is a cotton cloth. Little cracklings and little bits of meat and fat will come through in the process and you don't want that in your finished tallow or lard. It will, it's more likely to spoil and you don't really like clumps in your fat, at least I don't. So now 
we're just going to gather up the cloth. Let all those golden oils drip down through. Let's throw the other fat back in the oven though and get the rest of that going. And I'll check it in about half an hour to 45 minutes. our fats again see how they're doing and pour off our next little bit here and I want to show you the cracklings and at what point you want to kind of just stop the whole process and say it's done we've got as much fat out of this batch as we're going to get all right now you probably can't tell this but these fats are starting to stick to the bottom of the pan a bit. You can see they look kind of crispy, a little bit deep fried. You can see with our, our pieces, we're not getting that translucent kind of jelly look. Everything looks like it's been through a deep fine process. So I'm going to strain this oil out. challenges with rendering your own animal fats is actually dealing with the aftermath. Now, tallow is really firm, it's really hard when it dries. You do not want to wash this stuff down your sink. We've got it all through. Here's the one dish where I spilt a bit. What I would recommend is that you heat things up. So the rag, throw it in some a pot of water on the stove and heat things up. Um, Heat this up as well in that same pot if you can. Swish hot water around and rinse out that fat, melt it down, and then pour that water outside somewhere. Then go ahead and you know throw your, your cloth in the washing machine and wash up your dishes, but don't rinse the stuff down your kitchen sink. Your husband will thank me for telling you that. We are done. Our fat has hardened in here again. We've got beautiful kind of creamy white tallow. And this actually needs to be refrigerated. Now, if we do butchering in the fall, I actually will put this in the cold room. We'll do up the jars and pop them into the cold room and they'll be naturally refrigerated there. However, at this time, we had some frozen tallow in the freezer that needed to be rendered. So we're going into summer. So this actually needs to be stored in the refrigerator, at least in large quantities. Small amounts, you can take them out and put them by your stove. And you're good in the summer. You can leave them there for, I don't know exactly, probably three to four weeks. They're fine to just sit out because it is just pure fat. Um, but that's, that's an option, but I wouldn't recommend you leave a huge jars of tallow out. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw lids and bands on these. And then they're going to go in the fridge. And that's basically how you render animal fat. Thanks for watching folks. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And you can find me here on YouTube at A Traditional Life, the blog, atraditionallife.com. And then you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest under the exact same title. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.